I am the coordinator at Wild and Free Mackenzie, which is a community trust, and we do a lot of stuff around wild and pine removal and are looking at helping to support our communities to uh, manage their land positively following the removal of wild and pines. Unfortunately, you guys had to go about it in a really tough way with a wildfire, but there's a lot of good that's coming out of that, which is awesome. And I think the Orho Village is becoming a really neat kind of case study or example about what can come out of wild and pine removal. The vegetation around Oha has been severely uh, damaged and we're really keen to re-establish um, native plants in the area but also the people that live in the village and in the community outside of the village, um, they've lost both homes and vegetation and so to be able to have uh, a facility that can provide plants for the re-establishment of the village and the community outside of the village was really important to, to a number of us. Today we will have Jo Wakelin, she is our tutor for the day. For a number of years you have been the principal horticulture lecturer at Cromwell Polytech. To attend a uh, seed propagation workshop was really important to just get a good foundation on how we start the process um, so that when we do get our uh, community nursery up and running that we have a few people that are kind of experienced and trained in how to do this and we can pass that on to the rest of the community. You might be able to look at something in a textbook, but to actually pick through uh, the prickly vines or the plants and get your hands in there and pull the seeds out and actually know what's going to be a viable seed for down the track is really important. And then coming back into the workshop and separating the pods from the seeds and getting them into a state so that we could actually um, plant them into pots and, and turn them into plants. Get in here and just give them a good old twist and you'll find the seed inside. Carrot seed. Oh, oh yes, good. Look. <laughs> it's blowing everywhere. They are such a tight-knit community and having been through such a, a trauma like a fire where they've lost properties, they've lost livelihoods, luckily they didn't lose any lives but they have all come together and really bonded over something that has been quite traumatic and figuring out how to rebuild and I guess develop their identity again as a community um, together, yeah.